Hi friends, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. We're doing the interlocking circles motif today and hopefully we can get through it without Theo completely biting me. He's sitting here just off the side <laughs> ready to pounce at any moment. Okay, let's get started. So we are just like any other um, motif, we're starting with the inside and working out. And so we're going to be starting with these interlocking circles. So I'm going to start with the gray first and I'm going to chain eight. So I have my yarn. I have, I'm using a J size hook today, but you can use whatever matches your yarn. So I'm placing a slip knot on the hook and chaining eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this first circle, we are going to not take care not to twist it. And we're going to join with a slip stitch in the first chain from the, uh, the very first chain, the eighth chain from the hook, slip stitching to form this really big ring. Now in this really big ring, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to place, that chain one does not count as a stitch, I'm going to place 20 double crochets all in that big chain eight loop, okay? So go ahead and fit your 20 double crochets in there and then I'll show you how to make the yellow one link to it. Okay, so Theo is going to be a pest today as he reaches his little paw in there. He desperately wanted me to film a video today so that he could sit up here and make me dodge him. I think you're going to love this motif though. As some of you um, have heard on my five minute crochet podcast, most weekday mornings a couple weeks ago, I um, talked about this motif. It was one of the very first motifs I ever designed. And I had a an editor tell me it was run of the mill and that I would never amount to anything as a designer, which was, I can laugh about now since I've written six books. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, so I've got four more to go. Written six books and none of them are self-published. 17, 18, although I do want to self-publish a book soon. Okay, 19 and 20. Anyway, here's, I'm gonna show you the original, the original motif. This is the original motif and I have, Learned some lessons since I, this was the very first thing I designed years and years ago. Okay, so when we get to the 20th one, we're going to join with a slip stitch and the top of that first double crochet. We're going to chain one, does not count as a stitch. Front post double crochet around the first one. Back post double crochet around the next. And we will continue this all the way around. Anyway, I've learned some lessons, and so I went ahead and retooled this one to make it more mathematically uh, comfortable, <laughs> to make it make just a, a little bit more logical, efficient sense. So the other one did work, but it was a little asymmetrical in places. I found different ways to make it work more efficiently, more mathematically, more user-friendly, and that's what 20 years of experience will do to you. Okay, so go ahead and keep on front post double crocheting. So, and back post. So back post, we're yarning over, inserting the hook from behind around to the front, grab the yarn from behind, pull it all the way around, and then yarn over and pull through two twice. Front post double crochet, we're gonna yarn over once, insert the hook from stabbing from the front to the back around the post of the stitch, grabbing a loop, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through two twice. Okay, so most of you are familiar with the front post and back post double crochets, um, but I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial. I love, love, love those stitches for texture. So instead of putting the hook in the top two loops, we are placing the hook around the stitch. 
The front post and the back post are different in that everything is determined by having the right side of the work facing you. So if you were to turn, no matter how what side you're facing, if it says front post double crochet, you're always going to stab from the front where you are right now around the post. And if it says back post, it means you're going to start in the back and reach around. Okay. So no matter which line of your instruction you're on, <laughs> if it says front post, you're going to do it just like this, no matter what side is facing. And if it says back post, you're going to do it just like that, no matter which side is facing at the time. Join with a slip stitch in the beginning of the first front post double crochet, skipping that beginning chain. So look how gorgeous this little circle is. Love it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fasten off this circle. And now for the second circle, the interlocking circle for the yellow circle, I'm going to grab my yellow yarn and put a slip knot on my hook. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is important. We're going to take the tail end, the cut end from the right side and stick it through the hole. Okay, and then taking care not to turn that, but it doesn't really matter since we're just stitching in the hole. We're going to slip stitch in the first chain, the very first chain near the slip knot so that we're going all the way around. Okay, there you go. So you can see it just like that. It's just tied in there. Now I'm going to chain one. It does not count as a stitch. I'm going to place 20 double crochets just like we did the first time. And I'm pretending that gray loop is not even there. I'm just going to work it all the way around. And then I will do the second round just like the first, like I did on the gray with the front post and back post double crochets. And I will just be massaging that loop all the way around so that I get the 20 double crochets spaced evenly around. I'm just kind of letting it move stitch by stitch around the circle. Okay, and as it starts to get in there, I can go ahead and kind of push it through and now have the rest of the loop. Doesn't matter. It's not actually tied to the gray in terms of placement. It's just tied in terms of um, reaching around. Just like the first circle, when you get the second circle's 20 double crochets, go ahead and just join with a slip stitch in the first double crochet, skipping the first chain one. Chain one, and that does not count as a stitch, and go ahead and start making your front post double crochet, and then your back post double crochet all the way around, okay? So we're not increasing or decreasing on that second round, okay? You'll go all the way around and join with a slip stitch. All right, so then you'll have your two circles, and this is the back side, and this is the front side. I like to position my joins. Um, so here's the gray join. I like to position them by twisting the circles so that the joins are underneath and hidden a little bit so that they're not right here on top on the visual, uh, the front side. Okay, so when you've got that, now we're going to grab the white yarn or the cream colored yarn. And oh, I guess I need to give myself a new end because I did step outs, y'all. I did step outs for the first time in a really, really, really long time. Okay, so I have my new cream colored yarn and I'm placing a slip knot on my hook. I'm using the same hook. Now I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm going to place five single crochets one and one of five stitches you can pretty much start anywhere on the circle but like I said I like keeping the ends kind of hidden so if I'm gonna count sort of backwards I'll do one two three four five I'll join with a single crochet in that stitch here so I'm placing five 
single crochets, one in each stitch on the yellow, two, three, and this is where we do the magic to make the little um, four, make the matting of you know when you make when you get a picture frame and you're you've got a piece of artwork and it's got a mat around it before the frame this is kind of like the mat that goes around okay so we've got five stitches on the yellow now we're going to make nine on the gray one oh i'm sorry wait a minute i'm going to put four i'm going to put four on the yellow let's go ahead and undo one i'm going to put four on the yellow Ah, I have nine across the whole side. <laughs> That's what my notes meant. Four on the yellow and then five on the gray. So I have one, two, three, four on the yellow, and then I'll go ahead and do five on the gray. One, two, three. That's right. Theo must be really tired if he is sleeping and not playing with my yarn while I'm stitching. Then we're gonna do a chain three for the corner. And on the side, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So we're not skipping any stitches here on the gray circle. So we're not skipping any stitches here, but do chain three for the corner and then do five. One, two, and this is the short side over here of the rectangle, two, three, four, five then we're going to chain three for the corner one two three this is this corner down here we're not skipping any stitches we're only going to do four down here on what is now the back circle the still the gray circle one two three four okay now we're moving over to the yellow circle and can you guess how many we're going to do? We're going to do five. But now remember that we have to get five over here for the side. So one, two, three, four, five. And we need to get five over here. So one, two, three, four, five. This is where we're going to start. So did you see how I counted backward so that we would use each stitch only one time? One, two, three four and five and then we'll add the chain three corner one two three and my yarn is getting tangled so that's annoying that's annoying it's all right it's just yarn it's not rocket science it's not brain surgery and then we should have five stitches left one two three four five for our remaining second short side two I split the yarn three four five don't forget to do your chain three corner one two three and we are joining with a slip stitch in the first single crochet there we go okay so this is what it looks like so the little white is like a mat around the artwork and then we have uh, some more matting going on and then we'll do the frame <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and look at um, where we are next with the next step out so the next step out we are doing we are doing double crochets around so when we joined oh I guess I started over here I started on a short side it doesn't matter where you start really we just want to have five on the short sides a total of nine on the long, five on the short sides, and the total of nine on the long. So the four goes here, the four goes here, five goes here, five goes here. You got it? <laughs> and then we're going to be doing just one double crochet for each single crochet. So, and then when we get to the chain three corners, we're gonna do two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. So as we, uh, are double crocheting around one for one so this is a little bit of an advanced pattern my friends but you can totally do it these are all stitches that you know they're just kind of in a different place so we have double crochets around and I cut my tail too young too too young too early um, for the step out so I'm gonna have to add new yarn I think 
But that's okay because it's just a swatch. It's just for teaching. It's just for teaching. I hope you're having a valuable and relaxing use of your day. I'm going to go ahead and join New Yarn for these final... Oh, 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 Theo came alive for that. Okay. Joining New Yarn. Now, when we get to the chain three corner, we're going to place two double crochets in the corner. We're going to chain three, one, two, three and place two more double crochets in the corner. So there's one stitch, one double crochet, and every single crochet. And then when you get to the corner, everything in the corner, as if it were in parentheses, is two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet, all in that corner. And then you'll join with a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet, whether or not you chained three or you did chain one and just did a double crochet. And this is the end of that round. Okay, so much fun. Okay, so we're going to keep going with the white and we are going to do so we've done the the mat round. We are doing another mat round here. And so on these short sides, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I counted the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha! I counted my chain. And you shouldn't count the chain. I just don't like to do chain three. I would rather chain one and then do the double crochet instead. So this side should be easier to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. So we are on track. Now it's time to do this round. And while the cream looks like front post and double crochet, it's just because you pulled it pulled it with the yellow that it looks puffy and then receded and then up front and then receded but it's actually just double crochet and we're doing the exact same thing on the corners two double crochets chain three two double crochets so let's do that shall we all right so here's where we are I'll take a nice big screenshot of the, this if you want so that you can count stitches but we are working on the third so we've got the third row of the mat so we had the single crochets the five on each short end nine across the bottom nine across the top then we did these last two rounds were the same but we increased by four on each row on each side so every time we came to a corner we did this same thing that I'm going to show you now. So we did one double crochet for each stitch. And then when we arrived <laughs> at the chain three corner, we're placing two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets. So these last two rounds are the same instruction, but because we're adding two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets in every corner, we're actually adding four stitches to each side, okay? So your total stitch count is going to increase. Okay, so now we are joining with a slip stitch in the beginning double crochet. So wherever you started on your motif, I think on this one, um, I actually started my single crochet on a short side, but when I demonstrated it to you, I started up here. It really doesn't matter where you start, but this is where we are going to end up at this point when we're ready to cut the white. Okay, so we're cutting the cream right now. So there's a good look at everything in case you need to need to uh, take a big close up of how it looks so that you can duplicate this for yourself. Okay, so next, surprisingly, is gray. So if we take a good look at our original motif, it's actually gray that is worked in the white stitches, and then the yellow is worked over the top. So we only have two more rounds to go. And in the corner, the gray, there's three double or three single crochets in the corner and one single crochet all the way around okay so do you need me to demonstrate that for you i'll be glad to so you can join with new yarn gray yarn anywhere you want i am going to join you can either do with a slip knot or just pull up a loop i'm going to chain one it does not count as a stitch i'm placing three single crochets in each of the chain three corners 
and then one single crochet in each stitch on all four sides. Okay, so I will meet you back here in just one moment by placing one single crochet in each stitch. I'm trying to keep this from being too long of a video so that you can watch the whole thing. All right. I love this color scheme. It reminds me of the 80s. <laughs> anyway, I've done the gray now. You can take a screenshot if you need to all the way around. It's just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And then in the corners, there's three single crochets in each of the corners. And then we're just going to join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and cut the gray. Okay, so we're cutting the gray and we'll weave in that tail later but now it's time to do the final round the yellow which i know you're so excited for and so am i so as we road map this yellow the corners are single crochet chain three i'm sorry double crochet chain three double crochet all in the middle stitch of those three gray stitches in the corner then we will double crochet yellow in the first single crochet and then we're reaching down to the white front post double crochet reaching over the top of the gray and then the second yellow stitch is a back post double crochet around the post of the next white stitch reaching around so we're really not stitching in the gray at all except for the corner so i just wanted to road map that a little bit it's a little complex i just like to start on the corner not where i just fastened off but the next one <laughs> that way i can work over this tail later at the end um, so if we isolate the middle single crochet of the chain single crochet three corner we're placed joining with a double crochet in that stitch okay we're going to chain three one two three we're going to double crochet in the same stitch. Now double crochet in the next stitch, the next single crochet. These might actually be half doubles. Nope, those are doubles, okay. And now we are ready to start skipping the gray stitch, working in the stitch below. We'll start with a front post double crochet around the white stitch or the cream stitch, okay? Then back post double crochet around the next cream stitch. We're not doing anything with the gray. We're pretending the gray is not even there. And instead, we are working around the posts of the next row two rows below into the cream okay that's where that chain was where we started that round around the post and this is what makes that awesome overlapping look to this motif okay i'm almost done with this side and then you'll repeat the sides four times or three more times for a total of four times so that each each side is symmetrical it's just a different number of stitches okay so as we approach the end here we know we are correct because we're going to end with a front post double crochet so that it is symmetrical we started with a front post double crochet we're ending with a front post double crochet like this then we are we've got our three single crochets for the corner we know we're going to double crochet in the first one the middle one we know is going to be the corner so that means double crochet chain three one two three double crochet in the same stitch double crochet in the next stitch and then we will treat this row this side of the rectangle exactly like we did over here so we will skip all of the gray gray stitches and only work in the cream and we'll start with a front post double crochet and we'll end with a front post double crochet and we're alternating fronts and backs all the way across we'll repeat the corner at the corner and when we get all the way around we will make sure that we've got the right, the corner there, and we will join with a slip stitch where it's appropriate depending on where we started. But 
This is the interlocking circles motif that I've been talking about for weeks on the 5-Minute Crochet Podcast on weekdays here on YouTube. So I hope you can join me for lots and lots of crochet fun, and I hope you have a valuable and relaxing use of your day. Leave me comments in the description in the comments below and check out all the details in the description for hints and tips and shopping. Thanks so much. Bye. So if you liked this video, here's another one that's similar that you might also enjoy. And here is the video, the last video that was up uploaded in case you missed it. Everyone, please like and subscribe. <laughs>